Hey guys, welcome to ATB. We got comic book pickups, we got Funko pickup, and we got news on our giveaway. Stay tuned. Well, hey guys, welcome to the Awesome Toy Box with your host T-Roy. How you guys doing? So, uh, this week I'm going to try to work on an intro, finally. I've, I've been wanting to do an intro video forever, and I've been playing with it, so... If I can figure out how to get it to work the way I want it to, hopefully that will be coming soon and be debating. Maybe I'll, if, if I'm lucky and I can figure it out, maybe I'll debate by this time next week when the um, we do this giveaway. So if you didn't know, stay tuned for the end of the thing, but we are going to be talking about how you can get your hands on this sign, 9.6 by Kevin Eastman. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 100. Um, we'll talk about that at the end of the video, so you have to stay tuned. You're just going to have to hashtag something on this on this video, so, you know, when that comes up, make sure you watch it and you're still it. So, but let's get right into it. You know, it was President's Day weekend this weekend, and I had big sales going on all over the place, so I went, and pick, went around and picked up a few comics. Hope you guys enjoy it. So let's go ahead and get to that footage, and here we go. Okay, so a bunch of stuff going on. Hopefully you guys caught NFO this weekend. Um, if not, then go back and watch that. I'm sure it was a great time. I'm recording this right beforehand, so we'll see how that goes. I want to show you some of my pickups from this past weekend. A bunch of bunch of president sales going on. And the first place I went to was movie trade companies. I went to like three different two different ones. And I'm gonna just show you everything I picked up from them. I didn't pick up very much, but these were all buy one, get one free. So that X-Men Legacy 270. I've been missing that one. Now this one I picked up just because I absolutely love the cover. It's extraordinary X-Men number eleven. I don't know if that's... I'm guessing that's Venom and Wolverine, maybe? I don't know. That's It's just cool looking. And then I picked up this um, kind of different... I just... I don't know. I just kind of liked it. It was a different cover, too. Amazing Spider-Man 693. And then I picked up Daredevil 241, which is funny because I just found out that this is a, a Todd McFarlane artwork on the inside, so I had to grab it. Then we got Vogue number two, a life field cover. Of course, I'm gonna grab that. Immortal X Men number two, the variant. Then we have Batman Superman 13 with Michael Turner. Edge of Spiders first, number four. This is a key. I can't remember why. I, I will actually, if I remember, I will, come, I will look it up. Then we have X Men Legacy 237, another one I was missing. Onslaught Reborn. I just like the cover. I thought it was kind of cool. Then we have a Justice League of America number 8. Awesome, awesome cover. With Michael Turner work again. This one I was surprised to find in there. Inf Inf Infinity Incorporated. It's back when McFarlane was doing it. Great McFarlane work. You can really see how he progressed. Then we have X-Men Black with that Campbell cover. You know I'm going to pick up anything I see this Campbell. And lastly, X-Men Blue number 15. I just like that Mojo cover. And that's it for this part. We're going to actually get back to the uh, the rest. Okay, so that was all I got from movie training companies. Next up, we I stopped at a local comic store. And big shout out to my my uh, man Mon Comics. If you don't, if you don't subscribe to him, get over there and sign it. He just like me likes one kind of off um, Marvel superhero, um, namely the Man Thing. So I got some Man Thing comics in here, and I got and when we get to my Funko pickup, you'll see uh, even something cooler. So. So first off, we got here King's Eyes Annual X-Men number three. It's a reader copy. Uh, this is just a Virgin Spawn, I guess. I don't know. I didn't look at it. I just really like that cover. Here we have Man Thing number six for Trinity Rights. 
Then we have uh, Michael Turner, Incredible Hulk. And we have a Hulk versus Man thing. This the, this store had the most Man st thing stuff I've seen in a long time. Here's the Le Legion of Monsters Man thing number one. Pretty cool cover. And then the Might Nightmare Box Spider Man, Thor, Daredevil, Shang Chi, and the Thing all fighting sp uh, the Man Thing. Okay, and my last bit I got is from my local comic book store that's collected comics in Watoga. Great little store, but first thing I'm going to show you my first two new pickups. This is the Wolverine number 41, the variant cover. Absolutely love that cover. Very cool. It's got the Canadian flag draped over him. And then we have What If Mickey and Friends were the original X-Men. Actually love that. You got Goofy, Donald, Minnie, Daisy. And then uh Pluto or Bluto? I can't remember. Yeah, Bluto is Magneto there. That's pretty cool. That is, of course, a variant cover of one of the amazing Spider Mans. So, for President's Day, what they were saying it was um, back surgery <laughs> sale. All comics that were listed seven dollars or under were only a dollar a piece so i went through and just took them took advantage and filled in my collection in some spots but i did get one comic that was not uh, did not make that cut and that was new mutants number three and this issue is just in immaculate condition so i kind of picked i needed it so i picked it up Also picked up Scorch number one. I just didn't have this cover. I think I got a variant cover, or this is the variant. I know I don't have this cover. Then this one. The Infinity Inco, of course, like I said before, this is a Todd McFarlane's run on it. We got number 23, and then this is number 18. And what's really cool is if you watch the if you look through these, you really can see like how Todd's art has grown from the way, the way it started. I just think that's really cool. Next up, we have New Mutants, number 29. Painted cover. New Mutants had a lot of really cool painted covers in the early, in the early 20s. Then we had number 37 with The Beyonder. Number 41, kind of a cool westerny cover, like that. Then we have number 51. Fifty-five. Fifty-seven. And you're in, there's a lot of New Mutants, and basically after, after this purchase once I throw them in there I think I'm missing two new mutants that's it just two of them uh, so that that will be one uh, uh, set I will complete this year for sure there's number 67 69 I just really love this homage to uh, Stephen King the Batman who laughs number seven of the seven issue menu series. And then we got a oh, riot number one. Back to the Infinity Incorporated number 21. And then we have number 24. Number 25. And once I have all of these, because they're almost all in order, I'm going to probably read through them. I haven't read through them. I've glanced through them, kind of look at the artwork and stuff. 
But I'm kind of curious what's going on in some of the stories. Next up, we have New Mutants 70. New Mutants 48. Nice Barry Windsor Smith. New Mutants 45. New Mutants 27. Uh, that's Legion versus the New Mutants. Another one of those cool painting ones. Number 82. And then this one here. If you watch the live, you know what uh, I'm talking about. But I grabbed it just because it was a Campbell cover. And it was three dollars. It's marked three dollars, but it's only one. But I did not realize you can see that there. It is clearly signed by Campbell. And if you don't know, I mean his his signature is very I have probably this will be the thirteenth comic I have signed by him. So I definitely know his signature good enough to tell that that's authentic. So for a dollar for an authentic variant edition with his signature, come on. Who's going to turn that down? And that is it for the comics. But like I said before, I also picked up a Funko. And that is this guy. We readjust this a little bit so you can see better. But it's Ted. And if you don't know who Ted is, that's basically what they, the Werewolf by Night calls him in the Werewolf by Night. Uh, it is the Man-Thing. This is the second Man-Thing pop that Funko did. So, Mon Comics, if you're watching this, if you don't have him, you need to go find him. He's still at most... I found him at GameStop, but I'd been looking for a while to find one that was in decent shape. I'd only seen one other one, and the box was destroyed, and I like to keep the box. He is going to be coming out of the box, though. I will be maintaining him outside of the box. He's going to go somewhere in the background. But there he is. Absolutely amazing detail. He's even got the gem in the back from the show. Pretty freaking cool. And of course he's a Marvel so he has to be a bobblehead. We'll put him with his little brother. <laughs> this was the first man thing that they did. There they are. Cannot, cannot say enough about them. They're amazing. But that's it for the pickups guys. Let's get back to our regular scheduled program. Funkos and comics, how can you not love that? <laughs> I, you, you, you gotta love that. I mean, come on, man. Uh, and, you know, let me know what you think. You can see back there, uh, uh, Ted and Man Thing found their rightful place to live. They're, they're going to be right over there looking over my head at me all the time at you guys. Um, let me know what you think. Um, like I mentioned before, if uh, you know uh, Mon Comics, he's also a big monster fan. He likes the Man Thing guys. He's got a lot more than I do. Um, I'm one day I hope I'd have some of the comics he's gotten. But um, go over there to his channel, check him out. Uh, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe to him. And while you're at it, might as well comment, like, and subscribe to me as well. Because in order to get part of the uh, to get in on the giveaway, you have to be subscribed. You have to comment. So, might as well do it, right? So, what do you have to do to get entered into the duck race to win this comic? It's quite simple. If you watch the NFO, uh, you have, you have heard. But basically, hashtag FFB. That's it. Hashtag FFB in the comments below. That'll get you an in, in, entered. Um, no duplicates can be uh, can be in, entered. And I am going to figure out some way of verifying whoever wins that they are who they are. Uh, I know a lot of the normal people. But like if it's a really a weird random name, um, there's going to be, uh, might be steps you have to go through uh, while I'm getting your information to send it to you to make sure that you are who you are and you're not somebody just trying to scam again like the last time I tried to give away, do this giveaway. So make sure you do that. Also, um, what's going on? Going on? Uh, coming up? I got some other comics coming in. I'm sure you're gonna, you guys are gonna want to see. Um, I'm gonna do a video showing off of me playing with that Godzilla. If you watch the NFO, um, it's the Jada Godzilla. It's an amazing toy. I absolutely love it. Um, I, I don't I don't see a dad out there who buys this and doesn't decide he's gonna just kind of keep it in his room because. 
it is fragile. It breaks easy from what I understand. So it's not really made for little kids anyways to play with with their hands. It's just purely more for looks and to remote control it. Uh, we'll talk about that. Uh, I got some a couple of little knickknacks I want to show off. I want to talk. We're going to talk about the um, how do how do you guys Kylo comics? What I'm doing, how I, how I've done it, and some issues I've ran into. So hopefully you guys like all that stuff, and you you know it's enough content to keep you uh, your eyes peeled to the the to this channel. I'm gonna make you can keep coming back. Um, until then, the guys, I just want to make sure you, you know, when I say it, I actually mean it. I'm not just saying it. I, I do know, understand mental health issues. If you know what that means, you know what that means. Um, really check in with your friends, family, and loved ones. Let's make sure that they're okay. Make sure they know you're doing okay. Cause it is important. And as always, and I truly mean it, uh, collect yourself collectors. Don't forget to check out Mon Comics and leave that hashtag Later, guys.